And before we get back into the next game, these are your DHL pro tips. Like a cowboy is useless without a good steed, a Dota player is nothing without good settings. There are a number of hotkeys that are borderline mandatory to have bound if you want to be a good player. For instance, binding and using the camera grip hotkey is incredibly useful even if you edge pan normally. This is because camera grip can be used to make extremely precise camera movements in scenarios where your camera position isn't moving much but is still very important, like the landing stage. The select courier hotkey is also integral to have bound because at some point in the game, courier death timers eclipse hero death timers. And so, miss microing and losing a courier with a crucial item on it can be even more game losing than dying without buyback. The directional move hotkey is a hotkey that lets you move without the constraints of Dota 2 pathfinding. A lot of pros have recently started adopting this in order to more easily do actions where you need to be closely facing cliffs, such as dewarding and force staffing over high grounds. The move hotkey is another really important hotkey. Even though right clicking lets you move around the map fairly easily already, you cannot follow an enemy hero by right clicking them, like you can do to an ally. So the move hotkey can be used to follow enemies so that they can't juke you in trees, or so that you can stay on them while connecting with abilities like Jug Spin or Pudge Rot. Where the move hotkey also comes in handy is in enabling you to use the option right click to force attack, which basically lets you right click deny your own creeps instead of having to press A first, then left click the creeps to deny. Speaking of options, another one that's considered mandatory by most pros is teleport requires hold or stop. This makes it so that you will never accidentally cancel a TP scroll again, and it enables you to cancel shift cues after TP, which is literally impossible without this option. As for map settings, most pro players boost the minimap hero size to over 150%, use extra large minimap, use alt to show hero icons, and invert alt toggle. This makes it so that the minimap is huge, and if you see a hero, you'll immediately recognize who it is and where they are, which is incredibly important. 